All right, so this is the uh, top of the calvet, the lid for it. Um, <clears throat> these two bolts here were broken off. Uh, I had to drill them out. Uh, this one's still stuck in there, but the insert's spinning. And that one seems to be, I might be able to save it. Um, Insert still in there, it's pretty tight. Uh, we're gonna tap through it. Uh, so, got a bit of a rust in there. You can hear stuff rattling around, and all this dust off of the rust dust <laughs> here is out of this uh, vent. So, I'm gonna try to clean out as much as I can. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get out everything, um, but all right. So I've been uh, working on replacing the seal here on the cowl. Here's the old one. Um, so I've been trying to get this out for a little while, and uh, I loosened the, the bolt for the handle. And you can that part way um, but I wasn't able to get it out more than that and, um, and I just pulled the whole um, pivot bolt out of there it's it's riveted here on the I can see that too well it's riveted there take it off of there uh, you can't see the light anyway so yeah it's riveted right there um, so you can't really pull the handle out, but, um, pulling this bolt out, um, helped out to get it to move. And it's kind of neat because it has, um, uh, has the regular nut to retain it. And there's also a threaded, uh, spacer here that puts, uh, probably puts a tension on it with the spring. So, kind of neat. All right, let's see if I can get it out now. Get the bolt out of the handle. There's one side. Here's the uh, the pivot and the handle and everything, and uh, that bolt 
what's going through there. And oh, sorry. Get you back up here. Okay. So the the bolt goes through here, and then it has this portion in here for the tension. Uh, it kind of goes through like that. Alright, so I'm going to work on replacing the seal. Uh, also have a couple uh, this one was, was uh, broken off in there, and then this one's totally blown out. The other ones I think I could uh, just uh, run a tap down them and, and be able to reuse that, but these two I do need to repair. Alright. Alright, uh, got the new seal stretched around. Um, so I've got to finish those holes, but uh, just get it on there so it'll take its shape. and. Um, you ready to go back in? Okay. All right, so I got the primer coat on. Uh, I need to flip this over and um, coat that also, and then I'll hit it with a uh, a little bit of uh, a Rust Oleum primer, and uh, then I'm going to hit it with uh, some semi gloss. Semi gloss. Um, there. So. All right. All right, so both of these holes here uh, were damaged. Uh, this one here is completely blown out. The square nut is missing out of it. And it was a bolt and nut down through there holding it together. This one here got kind of boogered up when I took the screw out, um, and it wouldn't uh, tap it. It was it was too far gone. So I ended up drilling it out. Uh, you can see it here, and I'm going to put one of these uh, uh, rivet nut inserts. In there, oh, yeah. kind of like I did with the uh, the lid here. So, a couple of those in there. This one, I'm gonna have to weld it up. Sorry, block in there, um, and get that kind of a little more secure so it'll hold this one when uh, when it squishes up. Okay.
All right, so uh, got the vent assembly painted. A couple spots uh, to touch up, but I think it's going to get a little banged up going in here. Anyway, so I have the bolt out. See it over here of the arm. See that? And I have this new seal on there. So if I remember right, I had to kind of snake it in sideways. Something like that. I'll also show you the uh, Inserts I put in, I painted black, but uh, my welder ran out of gas, so they uh, put a couple little tacks to hold those where the metal was split. Can I see this one? Uh, there. Uh, where the metal was split, but uh, with no gas, is pretty ugly weld. Oh. Anyway, the hole for now. I'll work on getting that back in. There it goes. Get the seal back up. And drop it in. Alright, hopefully this all lines back up. I got some uh Stainless steel, uh, what do they call them? Oval Phillip machine 832. These are halves, and then I got some uh, three quarter here. Let's see, uh, let's see that there. Maybe hopefully focus me. See which one works best. Uh, start off with a little bit longer one, the three quarter. Uh, you can see that it's stainless steel, so hopefully it won't rust. Um, and. Uh, I'm going to try to line these up. See how well that works. I ran a tap through all these uh, holes before this to make sure it wasn't going to be any difficulty with that. So that works pretty good. I don't know if I, if I don't need them to be that long. I'm gonna try a half inch. See how that feels. I might switch over to that.
screws in, gaskets in, hopefully I got it the right direction, seems like it, I think the little goes down on that, uh, get the uh, lid bolt down, see how that works, alright so I put the inserts in there, you see that probably, and uh, these uh, are stainless Allen head, button head or whatever they are, Allen drive. Anyway, uh, we can put that in here and see if it all fits back together. Kind of go in and then slide. Oh. That should work. Originally I had screws and uh, you can see that there's not much room, even a, you know, a stubby screwdriver. So, let's see how this works uh, with the Allens. Take a long time. Let me uh, do some of this and I'll uh, get you back on. So yeah, yeah, uh, one over here. Let's do it. in uh, looks like it lined up that was the key this one right here uh, fit in it's the old Matco I don't know if they still make it or not but great little ratchet set uh, hashtag not sponsored but super cool fit where nothing else did so see the uh, you see him down there 
It is stainless steel um, Allen's and the screws. Uh, it closes. Once I have that handle in, I'll probably pull it down a little bit more. But uh, it's, uh, it seems like it goes right along that seal. So that seems to me like it should be in there. Uh, there wasn't much in that you know, area for rubber before, so, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll put that bolt back in and, and, uh, check it out.